Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing fans. You know, don't you? You know. Uh, can just give a big shout out to uh, Dempsey Wales, DNA uh, business, healthy food options. He's got premises now in uh, Brampton, Brelo. Uh, so, anybody wanting to eat healthy, DNA is the place to be. Cheers for the uh, for the for the healthy options that you've been giving me at Dempsey. You're a top man. I wish you all the best. Uh, right, pay per view. I've been working on some pay per view stats today, right? And did you know that Matru have since they've had the exclusive Sky deal? Shows that Eddie Hearn has promoted himself. There have been his shows. He's done 30 pay per views. Do you know of that 30, how many of them have featured at the top of the bill both the guys fighting both inside the top 10 of the world? Only 14 out of 30. So. That's more than half of the pay-per-views have featured at least one guy who's not even ranked in the top 10 in the world. And yet pay-per-view has increased from £17 to £25 over the course of the years that Eddie's had the, the exclusive deal. That's never been explained, but the quality's just got, got worse and worse. There you go. That's the first exclusive from my good pal Dale. Now, what Dale forgot to mention there is, I think there's been, there's been about 36 Dale, 37 pay-per-view in the Eddie Hearn era, but he's promoted 30. I don't. I think the ones that he hasn't promoted were the Mayweather, McGregor, Klitschko, Tyson Fury. I think there's a couple of other ones, a few other ones. But he's probably still had a cut out of it because the, the broadcast partners aren't with him, so he's still had his hand in on them. But uh, this is how I look at it. The product's watered down. Now, people may have a pop at me for pointing this out, but I'm trying to tell you all just to stream it or watch highlights next day because it's now beyond a joke. And people keep complaining to me. They want me to be outspoken and that. Fair enough, I ain't got a problem with that because I'm not really bothered about anybody. I'm not frightened to say what I want to say. But point is this. You've got to vote with your feet. If you vote with your feet... They'll have to make the product better, won't they? For example, if you're selling a certain product in a certain area and everybody's unhappy with quality of it and it's watered down or whatever, people are not going to come and buy it off you again, are they? Because you're going to vote with your feet. Well, it's just, it's the same with this, isn't it? It's got a product, but it's gone, it's hit skid row, hasn't it? Now, when you, it, it in skid row is like buying a car that's been rolled, isn't it? And then not and not repaired, and you'll go buy it and you say, well, it's got a few dints in it. We we can just fit, fit in it, but you know it's drivable. It's still got a bit of MOT left on it. You're not going to drive that car, are you? It's not been repaired properly. So why would you want to watch rubbish? Now the other thing I want to point out is that we've heard a little whisper that Dylan White and Povetkin is going to be 25 quid, and that the posters are already done. Now this is coming from somebody on inside at sky now whether that's true or not i don't know but is dillian white a man that's never fought for a european title fighting a man 41 year old 10 year from his best is that a 25 pound pay-per-view no it isn't is it but you know all you match room gimps from beanville island you keep buying it don't you and then you're upsetting all, all rest of Kudos or hardcores. Look, pay per view, I don't agree with it anyway. I don't agree with ticket deals for fighters and I don't agree with pay per view. I understand that fighters have to get paid, but it goes back to when pay per view started, doesn't it? Pay per view is supposed to be for fights where you say, do you know what? We can't miss this fight. How many people are going to go out with the families at weekends and they're going to say, at weekend and they're going to say, do you know what? It's a Saturday, we're all on having a drink here. We need to get back home for Dylan White Povetkin. How many people are going to do that? Do you remember when Ruiz beat Joshua? Who was the one who broke the story about it being 25 quid? Me. It's a rematch. It's 25 quid. I was the one who broke that story. Now, I'm breaking this one now. This is going to be 25 quid. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. 
but I don't think I am. So we've got a man here, like I've just said, he's not fought for a European. His best belt's a British vacant. He's got a vacant British on mantelpiece that he didn't win outright, fighting a man 41, 10 years remo removed from his, from his best. Unbelievable, 41 year old. I mean, wh where are we heading with this? Oh, he's beat Takam, he's beat David Price. He's beat Dylan White. They're like C and C class, aren't they? You wouldn't even say Dillian White's B class, would you? And if you would, you'd be, you'd be doing yourself a disservice. Look, people keep going on about Dylan White being WBC number one, or he was. Trevor Bryan were WBA number one, but nobody was saying he were world class because he got to that position. There's people who are ranked number one in organisations because the promoters lobby to get them in them rankings. Do you see where I'm coming from? Going around in circles with this. I am going round in circles with this. People keep looking at me. I'm walking by, don't you like my tracksuit? People don't like my outfit. I was going to put my red leather jacket on today actually, but I don't know if I dare get it out. People start calling me Michael Jackson in it, won't they? But mine ain't got the black stripes on it, has it though? <laughs> it's all, 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 all good stuff in it, but keep sticking it to Eddie. Evening Eddie. Keep sticking it to him. Uh, keep voting with your feet. And uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. And sharing the video and leaving a comment. Shout out to Innovation Alloys, South Yorkshire Packaging, and a massive, massive shout out to all team players out there. And you know who you are, you big team players, you know, you know. Alright? So, peace out.